All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just here, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity, doing the hope, the work of the hopeful elect, okay, of the uh, Lord, okay, which are the chosen people, okay, that the Lord has chosen to do the work of of him okay to do the will of him i should say now when to go on this topic of you know niggas just can't put that blunt down man you know they can't stop smoking weed okay um that weed demon is real uh prevalent in this uh world and uh for some reason you know uh a lot of people, uh, you know, they 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 get uh, overtaken by that, okay, by the uh, the sins and the ways of this world, okay. Um, I want to go on uh, this uh, scripture, First Corinthians six and nineteen. It says, um, it says, "What know ye not that your body is the temple?" Of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, which is the Most High, Yahweh, which is His name, and ye are not your own. Okay, so when you come into this truth, even when you come into this world, man, if you are so called Negro, Latino, and or Native American, okay, or your your lineage goes back to one of those um, so called names that I just called. Um, more than likely you are, um, from, uh, one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. Jacob got his name changed to Israel and the Lord gave us, um, law, statutes, and commandments that we have to follow and, uh, the ways that we're supposed to live. Okay. Um, with that said, one of the main things that he told us to do is to take care of our bodies, which our body is our temple. Okay? So that means um, you're not supposed to uh, defraud your temple. Okay? Putting all type of tattoos on on your body. Okay? Um, getting the lip plates and all that uh, type of stuff. Okay? The Lord uh, said don't get shape ups. Okay? The, the Lord made you how he wants you to be made, okay? Um, but for some reason, people in this world want to do whatever the hell they want to do. They want to do their own will, okay? If you are a man of the Lord, first off, you're not going to be smoking weed, man. You're going to be put, you're going to put that shit down once you come into this truth, man, Okay? You're not going to be defiling your your, your your temple, okay? Now, it's, whether you're smoking weed, black and mouths, um, cigarettes or whatever, the thing is, smoking, period, is not uh, the way to go, okay? Our bodies are our only um, homes that we have here on this planet, okay? And people aren't taking care of it, okay? It says, for you are brought with a price, Therefore, glorify the Most High God and your body, okay? So, you have to abstain from all of these um, lusts that are out here, okay? It says, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's or the Most High, Yahweh's, okay? So, our, our bodies... Okay, are are supposed to be special. It's supposed. It, it says that it's the temple of the Holy Ghost. Okay, which is you know that set apart spirit. You know that you're sanctified. Okay, if you're a man of the Lord and you're in His truth. Okay, you have to take care of your body, man. Okay, um, it's a spiritual connection that we have <clears throat> with Yahweh, man. It's not a carnal or fleshly connection, man, which a lot of a lot of people they uh 
they don't understand that they they really worshiping weed, man, because a lot of people idolize that, you know. They idol they idolize uh, weed, you know, and and you know you have a lot of people. I sit up there and say that they uh that they smoke weed, you know, it got medicinal purposes and stuff like that. But honestly, man, all the people who say that are full of shit, man. They don't smoke weed to to um to 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 get healthy, man. Okay? They smoke weed to get high, man. Okay? And and a man of the Lord is not gonna be, you know, uh caught up in that uh folly, man. Okay, it says uh, James 1 and 13, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of uh, God, you know, the most high, Yahweh. Okay, Yahweh Basim Yahweh Okay, because people will sit up there and say, yeah, the Lord put the the uh, the weed here for us to smoke it and, you know, and well, the same way how, you know, marijuana or whatever name you want to go by is, um, uh, it's a uh, natural uh, product. That's the same way how how uh, coke is, man. Okay. So so you don't see people sitting up there, um, don't you know, uh, making their excuses for coke, man. The same way as they they do for weed, man. It says for for God cannot be tempted with evil, evil, neither tempt he e any man. Okay, and you look at. Especially in the hood, man, or anywhere where you go at, you always hear niggas talking about they got the loud out, man. You know, they got that, you know, uh, the good weed or whatever, man. They don't know if you're a, you're a police or or what, man. Okay, uh, and always be them dirty niggas, man. You know, them trifling, filthy niggas, man. Okay, that uh, that say this, man. You know, you look at that bottom lip and it's all type of, um, it's like the, the fucking, uh, blunt, uh, paper, uh, done, done, uh, soaked in on their lip and stuff, man, you know, but, um, these people always sitting up there saying that they got the loud out, man, you know, and they, they mostly, uh, Jake, you know, you got some, some, um, some, uh, uh, so-called white people who, who who sell it and stuff like that, you know. But for the most part, when you go into the hood, it's always the grimy niggas, man. They not men of the Lord, man. Okay, they're those those people that be out there more than likely, you know, they they're fucking uh some grimy demons, man. Okay, so so you gotta go to a grimy demon to even get the shit for the most part anyway, man. Okay. Unless you live in a place where it's like legalized and stuff like that, you know, you go to a uh, to a, uh, get a card and all that stuff. But then, hey, even on that note, you know, Esau, you know, that's a sorcery that that Esau has, man. Okay, um, cause they they're trying to turn it into a, a pharmaceutical um product, but they they can't. Okay, so they just selling it, you know, for for uh outright. It says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Okay, so you 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 guys who who um can't put the, the blunt down, you don't understand that you're you're really doing what's the word temptation is the, the, the want of doing something um wrong or unwise. Okay, and that and and it's unwise to think that you're you're serving the Lord. By thinking you could do whatever the hell you want to with your body, okay? So you're you're tempted and you're drawn away from from off the fact that you want to get high and smoke these blunts, okay? You're, you're deceiving yourself, man. Okay, it says then when lust has conceived, the one of getting high, you know, you you always got guys that you know what you got to the blunt or you know they. They um they 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 always find a way to get high, man, but you know, when it comes down to other stuff, they don't got their priorities right, you know, for the most part. It says then lust when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin with his uh when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Okay? Um 
me get this scripture. Um, it says Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. So the fact that, you know, y'all smoking weed and it's not, um, it's an evil work and it's not executed that people are dying and stuff like that. It says, therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Okay, so it's fully set in people to continue to, to, to smoke weed and get high, okay, and, and basically abuse their bodies. And that also, you know, it, uh, as far as drinking, you know, you don't, you don't get all carried away with, 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 with alcohol, man, okay. Um, this is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. Or I should say wine, you know, which is yan yan according to the scriptures. Um, First Thessalonians five and twenty one: Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace, the the Most High Yahweh by Shemayahu of peace, sanctify you holy. So you have to be sanctified, okay, in order to serve serve the Lord, man. You have to be set apart, man. I want to go into this word sanctify. See what it says. Okay. Strong's G37. Hagiazzo. Hagiazzo. It says Hagiazzo. Okay. It says to render or acknowledge or to be vulnerable or hollow. To separate from profane things and dedicate to God. So we have to dedicate our bodies onto the most high, okay? And that means uh, getting away from these profane things, things that are outside of the temple, okay? Which that's what the word profane mean, okay? Which people say profanity, it means outside of the temple. It says cr cr consecrate things to God, dedicate people to God. So when you come into this truth, you know, you, you dedicate your, your, your spirit, you sacrifice your, um, your, your body, is a living sacrifice unto the Lord, okay, you dedicate it holy, man, okay, so that means you, you do what the scriptures say, you know, don't get shape ups, you watch what you eat and do things of that, that, that nature, it says to uh, purify, to cleanse externally, to purify by expiation, free from the guilt of sin, to purify internally by renewing of the soul, okay, and hey, if, if you're a man of the Lord, you know, when you when you get done smoking weed, you know what I'm saying, you supposed to you supposed to, to feel bad about that shit, man. Okay, you stop doing you stop dealing with the shit all in all, you know, until the kingdom, man. Okay? Be free from, from that guilt, man. Okay, it says, um and I pray God, the most high y'all by some y'all side, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless okay so you know it's best to not even deal with that uh product man as far as uh marijuana whether you you know putting it in uh uh fucking um brownies or whatever you know because it's still you know the, a lot of these jobs and stuff like that you know piss test you and stuff you know so you know be be blameless okay it says on to the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah. Okay. So, you know, abstain from from off of doing that until the Lord comes, man. Okay. Um Second Corinthians seven and one. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh Sim Yahweh Shah. Okay. So all the things that you know um, as far as this world, you know, that, that people normally do in order to walk, walk or serve the Lord. Okay. Which the Lord is a spirit. You have to, you have to serve him in the spirit, man. Okay. You have to, you have to take care of your, your, your body. Okay. Um, Romans six and 19, I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as you have yielded your members, servants to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, okay? So, um, 
as um as as it was before you came into this truth or before you came into the knowledge of the Lord, okay? You you was doing all type of uh uh wickedness, man. Filthy things, okay? Um you got to you got to stop doing that, man. Okay? So, so some sometimes people go from the from the uh blunt to the to the bong to to whatever else, man, you know? If niggas could fucking snort the shit, they probably would snort the shit, man. Okay? Um it says uh, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. Okay, which you know, stop doing it, you know. And I'm gonna get one more scripture, you know, because it also talks about you know the promises, you know, the fact that we're gonna have everlasting life, you know, uh being uh away from the wickedness of this place, man, instead of being a part of it, man. Okay, it's first Peter one and thirteen. Wherefore gird up the loins of your mind. Okay, all the lust and stuff that, you know, uh, you used to do. Okay, it says, be sober. Okay. Um, and hope to the end for the grace that is be brought up, brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah. Okay. So, put that blunt down, you know. Stop getting high. Okay. Uh, and, and hope, you know, that, that we can get saved, man. Okay, it says, as obedient children, not fastening yourselves according to the former lust and your ignorance. Okay. Cause you have a lot of people, you know, people um they be trying to hide it, man. You know? Try to come out. It's scripture say you gotta be fully persuaded in your mind that this is the truth, you know. First off. But you have people who um want to cross over or try to cross over. But the fact, one of the reasons why they can't cross over is because they still dealing with these demons. One of them major demons, you know, that people are dealing with is that blunt, man. It says, but is he which have called you, um, but as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. So you ain't going to be dealing with or hanging with people that, you know, Ask you about, you know, what you got to the blunt, man. Or, or, you know, any other type of wicked conversation like that, man. It says, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. And the Lord doesn't smoke weed, man. Okay? Yahweh Shah is not passing blunts to Yahweh, man. Okay? So, so we have to follow after the example of Yahweh Shah, the one who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. He didn't come... And get his 12 disciples up in a, a blunt cipher, man. Okay? He didn't come and say, you know, get high and smoke weed. No, he didn't set that example for us to follow, okay? So, so with that, man, hopefully this, this lesson was uh, edifying, okay? And I want to say salawam till next time.